Hey, we are two Star Wars nerds, and we are rewatching the Clone Wars animated series in chronological, chronological order. order. The best way to do it. I liked saying that in sync. We got to try and do that mm. every single episode. Chronological from now. order. Well, not like slow. We got to be like chronological order Kay. in sync. One, two, three. Chronological, chronological order. order. <laughs> Boom. Nailed it. Um, but anyways, we are talking about the virus arc right now. And it covers two episodes, 117 and 118, the Blue Shadow Virus episode and Mystery of a Thousand Moons. Um, some interesting stuff. It's a little different direction for the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. So um, basically, if you're new here, what we want to do is we want to talk about all the things we love from every single arc of the Clone Wars and then give a fair rating um, whether we loved it, it passes for us, or it didn't really uh, float our boat, you mm-hmm. know? And we're going to be fair about that, but we will always talk about what we love. So, um, basically, what happens is Naboo is afraid of another invasion after the Phantom Menace. And then... Naboo. Yeah. It's rough. Um, but then, basically, you find out that this virus is being made in a secret lab, and it leaked out. Um, and basically, what... It, th- this virus does is it um, it's supposed to like kill every living thing yeah. and uh, it's very much like evil World War II scientists developing an airborne virus like it's it's pretty dark mm-hmm. and uh, that's Blue Shadow Virus is basically about that and it's Nuvo Vindi mm-hmm. um, who we're going to do a deep dive on because he is very fascinating to me he has um, a cool name too. He has a very cool name. He has a very cool story that we we can't cover here. We're gonna dedicate a video just to Nuvo Vindi because he's he's a great character, in my opinion. Um, so basically, what happens is the the vault that this is. You know, you have like Anakin, Ahsoka, all this stuff. You know, and Padme, Jar Jar, Anakin uh, is trying to get to like Padme, Ahsoka, and Jar Jar who looks goofy with his yes. little eyes. Um, in the hazmat suit. Yeah. The best charger smushed eyes. And they're in a sealed vault, and basically they they need an antidote and all this stuff. So they go to uh, Iago, and you meet Jabo, which is an interesting character. But mm-hmm. um, basically there is a separata- uh, separ- <laughs> separatist invasion of Iago, and they left, but they left a security system. And so, anyway, all this stuff happens. Basically, they are able to leave Iago and help. Everybody's cool. Everybody saved the day. Bad guys are arrested. Iago's free. Yep. That's pretty much the arc. Yay. Um, so, with that, I have two things in particular. Maybe three things that I really, really love. Um, but how, how about you go first? I, um, I know this, is, this was kind of a weird arc. Like, when you watch it, it's not super exciting, but it's not bad. Mm-hmm. It, it's all right, but uh, what are your thoughts? Some of your favorite moments, maybe, or things about this arc? I really liked um, Padme, Ahsoka, um, and Jar Jar in the, um, the vault. in the vault, and the tension that it caused Anakin, because those are like, well, Padme and Ahsoka are like his favorite people. Yeah, and he knows what's going on, and he knows what it's really reliant on him. So just that, I guess that stress and that tension that it causes him. And then just cool to see Padme and um, Ahsoka kicking butt. Mm -hmm. You know, I I think they're both awesome characters. So it's cool to see them in action and just again, see their, um, I talked about this in the last arc with Anakin and his sacrifice, but um, just how Padme and Ahsoka and the clones were sacrificing because they did not want this to get out. Now, Obi-Wan even says a line, he's like, I'd rather it affect one planet than yeah. every planet. Yep. And so they had that mindset and they were willing to lay down their lives. Um, and again, like that's that's what a hero does. That's what a mm-hmm. Jedi does. So it's always cool to see those things. But then obviously seeing Anakin and Obi get the um, the antidote Again, my words. <laughs> it's all good. I still love you. Antidote. I still love you. <laughs> um, and, you know, they're all saved. And, yeah, like, I love Jar Jar's eyes. Like, I was cracking up, like, so many times. They're so goofy. I loved it. It was so funny. Um, and Jabo, I thought Jabo was pretty cool. How he And how he remakes the droids. And, and how Anakin's, like, killing them. And then Obi-Wan's like, oh, are you proud of yourself? Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. Um, and a fun factoid, uh, my <laughs> my brother's nickname is Jabo. So 
<laughs> that's always super cool that's whenever what, I watch is, this episode. That's so true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So whenever I watch this, I think of him. Nice. Uh, he's not nothing like uh, this J-Bo, but... No. Yeah. So overall, yeah, I thought it was um, an entertaining arc, and I think I would rate a six out of ten. Cool. I've been giving out a lot of sixes recently. Yeah, more sixes. Um, you know, Jabo is cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, how he made like, like the droids like swing him, and they're like serving <laughs> him and stuff. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and Anakin's like, oh, nice, you did this, blah 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 blah, and he's like, yeah, I did, you know. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I'm going to start with my rating. I think that's the way we're going to do it. You're going to talk, rate, rate, I'm going to rate, rate and talk. talk. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think we're actually finally, we're flat, uh, we're finding a flow <laughs> to these. Um, yes. I'm going to give it a six out of 10 for Yay. two reasons in particular. j and Jarter's eyes. Yes. Yes. Call um, it. The, the the whole virus thing is very interesting to me and I, I like it the arc itself didn't really do it too much for me the virus was really cool but the two things I like Nuvo Vindi mm-hmm. great character I yeah. love Nuvo Vindi um, and the angels on Iago like mm. the natives yeah what the heck I'd like, like to know more about those I totally forgot about them and so I want to do a video on Nuvo Vindi and on the angels because mm-hmm. he's they're talking about oh the angels and then they walk in and you're like what the heck right they're like glowing beans um so anyway that alone was super cool and uh yeah you know uh that's that's really all i have because nuvo vindi and the angels made this arc a six out of ten for me mm-hmm. it would not have made my my pass of six out of ten without those two things um so I honestly, I mean, this is a shocker. I have nothing else to say. Me neither. And with that... We are two Star Wars (laughs) nerds, so may the Force be with you. Always. Always.